Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to optimize your Windows 11 PC or maybe even your Windows 10 PC. So it's been a long time since I post, so let's get into this video. So first thing first, we're gonna go to settings. In settings, we'll go to your display, advanced display. Make sure your fresh rate is at the maximum possible. Mine is 74.97. Let's see if I change to something else. It's gonna look weirder. So we'll go to the best that you have. And next, we'll go to. graphic settings and let's say you're playing a game like fortnite just click on browse you find the game then you edit and then you just have to click on options over here click on high performance not power saving or let windows decide So next, we're gonna go to Windows Update and make sure that everything is up to date. So you guys can see I have something to download, so I'll just click on Install now. Then next, we go to Gaming. Make sure your Xbox Gaming Game Bar is turned off. It should be on so make it off and then after we go to capture make sure it's off game mode make sure it's off as well as many other youtubers have already tested the game mode option and and have found out that if you off game mode you can actually get more fps in games so yes next we can go and you guys can just look through every every single setting there isn't much change here so let's just close our settings now next we go open your file explorer your file explorer click on your windows c drive which is the one that have windows inside and downloaded in uh, click on windows click on click on S and you find software distribution over here will be all the old software update you just have to delete it but make sure that all your updates have been downloaded before you can delete this so for now I'm not gonna be deleting it because I have a download that is pending right now and I need to install it after this video and next we can now next we need to go to the windows and type in power power option and you guys just click on change advanced power setting make sure that you have high performance or quick cpu scheme on then next after we have either one chosen and make sure it's the one that you're using just click on wireless adapter setting make sure power saving mode setting is set to maximum performance and not maximum power saving next go to pci express link state power management make sure it's on off not on moderate power saving or maximum power saving next go to processor power management make sure your maximum power state and minimum power state is on a hundred percent and that is all for the power option pad we can close it next just go to your keyboard and 
click on Windows R and this run thing will come up over here you just have to type in TEMP and enter make sure that this is this folder is empty if there's anything just delete it and then we have to do Windows R again and type in percent ten percent make sure everything is deleted if it can't be deleted same just just click on cancel and then after you're done just empty your recycle bin and next just click on windows r and then in ms config this is gonna come out just click on boot under boot just click on advanced option make sure your number of processors is thick it should be unchecked you check it and after that make it the max you have i have 12 so 12 is best and click ok apply and ok and click exit without restarting because after we are done for this we're gonna restart anyways so next we're gonna type in we're gonna click on the windows or search bar and type in advanced system settings over here click on under performance setting and on check and click on adjust for best performance then click on custom and check show thumbnail instead of icon and smooth and smooth edge of screen font these two should only be on and click apply and ok and we are done with today's optimization guide thanks guys for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out